G'day guys. I'm gonna show you a simple and easy way on how to make salt and pepper squid. We have our oil in the pan ready to go. We have our squid tubes, we have our salt and pepper, we have our flour, our chilies, our garlic, and our spring onions. Our squid tube's clean. Now it's time to open it up and score it. So here I'm scoring it in about one centimeter lines here, all the way across it on an angle. Don't go all the way through. And score it the other way. And now I cut it into bite-sized pieces. So when you're scoring the squid, I like my, to have my knife on an angle and don't score all the way through. Our squid tubes are now scored and then in the bowl, ready for our coating. So in the bowl we have a quarter of a cup of corn flour and a quarter of a cup of plain flour. So now add it, the flour in on top of the squid and mix it up just so they've got a nice light coating. So now the squid's all covered in the coating. When we put it on our plate here, we'll just shake it off and get any excess flour off. So we're gonna add a bit more flavor to ours. We got garlic, chilies, and spring onions. We're gonna squash our garlic and then cut it up nice and fine. So I'm only gonna add one chili, but if you like it hot, you can add an extra one. Yeah, so I'm cutting the chili up. I'm, I'm gonna take the seeds out because I like it just a mild flavor. Now I'm just gonna cut the chili into nice, fine little pieces. Yeah, you only need really two tubes of spring onion, so we'll chop it up. So we've got our squid, our aromatics, our salt and pepper, and now we'll go over to the pan. So this is a two stage process. So first we're gonna start with the squid. So we'll chuck the squid in, but don't put it all in at once, we'll do it in batches. And cook it until it's golden brown. Now we've cooked the squid, wipe out the pan, and we'll add a little bit more oil. chuck in the aromatics. Now just frying off the aromatics. Now I'll add in the squid. Now toss the squid around in the, ar in the aromatics. Give them a nice coating. Now last we'll put in some salt and pepper. There you go guys, there's my easy salt and pepper squid. So for the full recipe and instructions, they're in the description below. Now guys, I'm off to eat this, so see you on the water.